What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to show you how to completely shut down C routes. Now if you watch the Madden Bowl Championship between Drini and Kiv, you may have noticed Drini using this tactic really to take away that solo receiver C route out of Kiv's gun bunch. Now Kiv was able to make adjustments and have success elsewhere, uh, but I thought this was a really good game plan by Drini to kind of take that receiver, put him on an island, and, and then he was able to focus his efforts, you know, on the other side of the formation. So just starting off uh, on defense here, I'm in dollar DB fire to press a look similar to what Drini runs. And then on offense, I have corner strike here, and I'll also show PA post both with that short corner out that's so effective. Now, if I were just running, you know, DB fire to press against corner strike and I'm on the offense, all, all I really have to do is block Devonta Freeman. And I'm going to get that, you know, man-to-man -man match on the left side with the C route. And, and I can throw that for an easy 15, 20 yards literally every single play. So C routes just give a lot of different coverages, a lot of different problems. And so this is a great way to approach it. Now, the concept comes actually from man-to-man -man coverage. So what you'll notice here, if I audible to two man under and press coverage, well, what you're going to see on the left there with Richard Sherman versus Julio is that on the snap of the ball, Sherman's going to press Julio and really you know, make that route very difficult for Julio to get that separation. And it, it throws off the timing and it makes it a lot quicker. And so what you're going to see is that because of the press, you're going to notice that he's not able to run on the inside of the field. He, he doesn't run the inside part of his C route. He basically just runs straight up and runs a straight corner route. Now, as you can see, uh, this can really throw off the timing because look how close now the flat route and the corner route are on this side of the corner strike and, and that's what kind of makes corner strike so good is how deliberate and, and the spacing that the table route out the backfield and the C route get uh, in conjunction with each other so this really throws off that spacing now right here he was able to get a little bit of separation it becomes a very tight throw right there it's a tough catch sideline possession those are always wonky in Madden 18 and so Drini wasn't obviously just running a straight man-to-man -man concept but that's where the concept begun began so what he went to was a DB fire two press. And so you might think that, oh, I can just, you know, press coverage and man up Richard Sherman and, you know, get the same exact kind of outcome. But what you're going to see here is that that's not the case. He's still going to get open right there. Sherman actually went flying towards the inside and it's still an easy pitching catch for 15 yards. And so the way you're able to get the same type of inside jam as you are from two men under and, and get that same look out of a DB fire two press is what you're going to do is you're going to man up Sherman on the Julio. You're going to press your coverage, and then you need to get Sherman to the inside, and it doesn't work if you just manually move him. And so the way uh, that you do it is you go to individual coverages, so you press Y or triangle on PS4, A for individual. You go to Julio's icon, so X, and then we're going to go left stick to the right, and we're going to move Sherman to the inside. And so you saw him move. Now he's got inside leverage. And so what you're going to see now is you're going to get the same exact type of press on that C route. And now that route becomes a lot harder to throw right there. You're still able to fit it in very, very, you know, it's still, it's a tight window. You can still fit it in, but you have to go with a down and outside pass lead towards the sideline. And this is where, you know, the kind of combination of that tactic along with other coverages work. So if you're in a DB fire two press look, and you know you think your opponent's running corner strike so you might go with something like this you might man up sherman you know press coverage shade to the inside and then you can put this corner into a hard flat to kind of you know you you think sherman takes away the c route the hard flat takes away the running back out the backfield but also the hard flat doubles down as now you can't throw that c route you know down and towards the sideline because now the hard flat's going to be able to play it and that all comes because of the fact that the c route gets pressed and it gets so much shortened. So right here, if I go down and inside pass lead, see that that's no more that's no longer there. You can't squeeze that in if there's also a hard flight on, on that side of the field. And so that's exactly what you're gonna see. And so we go ahead, same setup on the left side. And even if you try to squeeze it in, you know, above, it's still super hard right there. Sherman was able to jump it and make a play on the ball. So you see how that man-to-man -man coverage is really just able to mess up the timing. And, you know, all it takes is one or two times for that route to get shut down. Like, if your opponent throws an interception over on the left side because of that man-to-man, -man, you know, press, and they're not expecting that, you know, they're not going to look that way for pretty much the rest of the game. Every time they see that look and, and they peek over there at the snap and see Julio getting pressed, you know, they're going to go to to the other side of the formation more than likely. They're not going to try that again once they turn it over. So that's a great way to start out 
and really just take away that left side of the field. And now as a defensive player, you can just focus completely on, you know, the right side of the field. You don't have to worry about the C route at a corner strike. Uh, they can run PA post and it'll be the same thing right here off the play fake. You know, Sherman trying to get the separation right there. And that was the hard flat. Hard flat, Byron Maxwell on a hard flat was still able to, uh, to, to go ahead and intercept that because of the the press messing up the corner route and making it so much more kind of shallow, I guess you could say. So I think that's a great way that Drini showed to attack that solo receiver out of the gun bunch. He had a great match with Kiv, two fantastic players. And so I think that's a great concept that a lot of people can take from that matchup and really implement it into their own defensive game plans to try and defend against, you know, popular schemes like the gun bunch that use a lot of C routes. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take it easy.